and get going. We've got the stars to explore. Yes, ma'am. I can just jump there directly. So make contact with the settlers on Tau City 2. Ship get the get the outside smoothed up. Ah, I know. An abandoned meat packing facility built on the fringes of the settled systems. I wonder what happened here. Another thing keeping me from building up the outside of the ship nicely is it makes me heavier, which means it lowers my mobility, and I would have to put more engines on it. And can't really do that until I get Starship Engineering 4. So until then, we are flying a modular ship that shows its uh, guts to us. <clears throat> this ship just sitting here. Big one. Those ships that are landed that you can't go in will say, you know, inaccessible. I guess this is literally just scenery. Too bad, looks like a neat design. Here to fix the comms. An abandoned meat packing facility built on the fringes of the settled systems. Something's been through here recently, but left everything in place. <laughs> At least, no, it wasn't the Crimson Fleet. Tau Gourmet. Like some entrepreneurs trying to, to make a good go of it. Oh, what was the date on that? Nothing with a date on it. Hmm. Weapons that I can compare later. Let's see what's up top. So often there's just little goodies left up top. So weapon workbench. So if you get here and you realize you want to spruce up your weapons, you can. Okay, station. See if they've got any weapons or ammo. Nobody's got any hats. So yeah, I was looking at my Basically, I'm trying to balance out the affinity of the of the uh, companions a little bit. Figured I would run with 
Sarah for a bit. Uh, I will run with the other companions from time to time. I'd just done a whole bunch of stuff with Andresia, so Sarah was the obvious other person to get going. Okay, well, we're headed down. Uh, what was that? She has our best interests in mind. We should do what she suggests. Okay, I'll have the shotgun ready though. Adrian was. got here. And too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? Yeah, make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. <laughs> Vanguard, huh? Yeah, I expect they didn't. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. One of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something <clears throat> of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. I can't believe that a terramorph did all this damage. I mean, I've heard the stories, but to see the decimation firsthand. So, Hadrian, you ever heard of a guy named Hayden Wynn? Yeah, uh, sounds like you could use my help. <laughs> I sure could. Because to confirm my suspicions about this creature, I'm gonna need a tissue sample from it. And to get that, I need its corpse. <sighs> but there is a way we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant security system. The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools. Okay, we can do this. Good. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there, and make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. Okay. Got my handy dandy shotgun. Ah. Uh, Sarah's got a crappy laser. Hey. Feel free to drop some stuff into my bag. Sarah needs a weapon. I'd like to give her something with decent DPS. Too bad I didn't keep one of those. Uh, one of those Matrix guns. Okay, Sarah, you're going to be using a calibrated drum beat. And you're going to need some 11 millimeter ammo. And you are going to need a frag grenade. Turn 
turn it. There you go. Bye. Because those little laser handguns just don't do very many, very much damage at all. <sighs> the safe. Two, three, five, six, seven. So four and a three. Uh, go here. Three that looks like that. Yep. And on this one, three, four, five. That and pair. I'd already seen the pair, so I didn't actually make that jump blind. And we have a one we can slide in there. Nicely. And this is a very nice little suppressed handgun. Done. Maybe I want to give that handgun to her. How did that end up on the hot button? Oh, I had one for a while and had it on the hot button and I sold it off. It's still great DPS. Um, I will leave her with the weapon she's got. Yeah, it looks like we're going outside. You know, the reflex stealth there. I don't just play a rogue in every RPG I play. Uh, sneaking around, choosing my battles. It's the way I like to play games every game when I can, when it's viable. So, let's see, reset connection. Connection restored. I'll make this quick. Hmm. Plant's turrets took a beating, but I should be able to get you a couple of kill lanes. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. Okay. Oh, hello? I wish I'd found this earlier. You notice those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. But it's not connected to this network. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to 183.5. 183.5. Got it. Uh huh. System. We need to 183.5. Trackers reading green. What's that sound? Security lockdown is active. Shit. Stop. Stop whatever you're doing. Vanguard. 
So we have distance to target, and that chirping sound will go higher as it gets closer. We have 39 meters that way, 64 there. I'll go for the 17 this way. Silly. I always forget my powers. My God! I still can't believe you can do that. Should be able to sense it. I didn't see where it was. 69 meters, 75 meters. Okay, there's the first kill lane. So I've got that one and that one up there. Let's go through this one. There's the terror morph. It's level 19. Go for the other one. I don't know if we have to do all of them or if just one of them will do it. So that looks like it's on the roof of that building. So I can get through from here. The stairway's going up. How good is my jump pack? Ah, nice. Power levels insufficient. Proceed to next power breaker. Seeing a meat packing facility from the inside is starting to make me feel like I should switch to become a vegetarian. Let's do this. Okay, all three restored.
There we go. Terramorph cell sample. 180,000 value per mass. Wow. Might as well take what we can. So yeah, once you get the kill lanes done, he's pretty easy to kill. We probably should have, uh, we probably could have killed him without them. But it would have been a much bigger challenge. I'm suspecting that there isn't any real major loot in this place. Darn it, I'm going to take the ammo that they laid out here for me. I was supposed to grab the ammo before I went out to kill the big bad guy. Okay, Hadrian. Tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or... Wait. You did it, didn't you? <laughs> Heavens above, you just flatlined a terror morph. Oh, yeah. Taken care of. No big deal. <laughs> you didn't happen to grab me a tissue sample, did you? What? Eating this one? All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. Let's see if we can't get to the bottom of this. There's something I need to talk to you about. Okay, Adrian's gonna go walk. I'm gonna talk to Sarah. Remember our last conversation, when you told me the artifacts made you feel like you were being pulled across the entire galaxy? Well, it got me thinking. <laughs> so I dove into our archives and started looking through Constellation's older journal entries. Just because I wasn't familiar with the experience you described, doesn't mean the same might have been true for my predecessor. It has been a while since we've adventured together, isn't it? Uh, unfortunately, no. Other than you and Barrett, there were no records of direct encounters with the artifacts. I have to admit, though, I did get more than a bit sidetracked reminiscing about old times. Really? I'm surprised that I haven't. After reading those journals, all of the pleasant memories of my time spent with Arja just started flooding back. Ah, oh, she absolutely was. Aja was the one that taught me the ropes at Constellation, and took me under her wing as her protégé. Hey, so I pinched <coughs> a few ideas from my old boss. <laughs> Can you blame me? At any rate, we logged quite a few discoveries together, but it was the actual journey that I cherished the most. Exactly. For me, it was all about the quieter moments. There was nothing quite like sitting back and watching space bend while listening to Aja spin vivid stories to fill the time. Oh, I find that sort of cozy isolation the best way to really get to know someone. I'll take that as a compliment. Thank you. You know, all this talk about Aja reminds me that my time with her was a gift. I miss her dearly. No, she retired. Living on Porima 2 now, I think. Oh, we've been there. Come to think of it, if we're ever out that far, perhaps we could pay her a visit and I could make proper introductions.
Well, I don't expect you to be a carbon copy of Aja. Just be yourself. You see, it's clear that we share the same hunger to discover what's out there. And that, well, that's what intrigues me about you. Uh, not flirting. <clears throat> Maybe one of the NG pluses I'll start flirting, but not yet. Uh... I won't be disappointed at all. And if it turns to be the case, then certain things will continue to run smoothly. Anyway, that's all I had to discuss for now. Thanks for spending time listening to me. It really helps. Okay, so Sarah's happy. And now we can catch up with Hadrian, who's waiting for us in the other room. This equipment, it's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample. But this Terramorph being here, of all places, it doesn't make sense. Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Pets, livestock, pests. But Terramorphs, they're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, they follow us. So when humans settle a world, 70 to 100 years later, terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully implausible. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. You're right. We just need more information first. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed, get confirmation on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? Yeah, I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. <sighs> Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Clear it with your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. They should recognize the name. I was. Long time ago. Family tradition. But I know some of the folks from my old unit moved into the Vanguard. A couple even owe me favors. If I'm lucky, your commander is one of them. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. Bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And... Here. It's not a lot, but you've definitely earned it. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Now please, go check in with your commander. We need to know what we're dealing with. So... <clears throat> a 
Apparently that was written back when fuel cost something. Let's see. Uh, let's go check in with Tuala. Painful memories or not, it's good to be home. Sarah's got a lot of backstory that we haven't uncovered yet. You're in the Vanguard, right? She keeps hinting yeah. at it, though. Thanks for your service. Look who's back. All set with that probationary mission? We can do your debrief and formally welcome you into the Vanguard whenever you're ready. <laughs> Let me knock his socks off a little bit. A terror? What? <laughs> How did you walk away with the terror morph tissue sample running comms repairs? What happened to the settlers? A gene tag. Let me see that. Hmm, Sanan. I know that name. Should. Let me check the database. Huh. A lot of this data's been classified. Here we go. Service record. Wow. That's a lot of commendations. Seems like she served with distinction as co-head of a UC Xeno weapons division. Faced tribunal at the end of the colony war. And was dismissed from duty. Guess that's why I'd heard the name before. If she's former Xeno warfare, though, well, we can at least be sure she knows her aliens. Certainly seems that way. Did your survivor, Hadrian, does she mention why she thinks this sample is so special? see. This uh, has been one of the more surprising debriefs I've ever been a part of. I did actually have another mission lined up for you, supporting UC system defense against the Crimson Fleet. But now I guess you have two options on how to proceed. Head to the UC Vigilance and help out SysDef, or deliver that sample. I'll make sure you've got the proper clearances for either path. Consider these your first official orders. And here, so everyone knows you're working with the Vanguard. Welcome to the Navy, Captain. <clears throat> Vanguard's also got some custom ship modifications. You'll be cleared for access to them next time you're down at the spaceport. Talk to ship services. Now, if there wasn't anything else, I suggest you move out. Okay, <clears throat> little meta knowledge. If we start the UC Sysdef thing, to go undercover with the Crimson Fleet, all the Crimson Fleet guys are gonna be friendly. And I want to be able to shoot them. So when I do start it, we will be focusing completely on the Crimson Fleet quest line. However, <clears throat> that doesn't mean I can't do a little bit of prep here. There is a secondary uh, secondary quest where we're picking up evidence. And I'm just going to kind of keep my eye open for slates in various places. And I have a list here that I'll be able to, to uh, run through as we are wandering around the world. Um, we will, however, be doing the Delivering Devils. Not right away, though. I do want to move some things from the lodge down to the ship and then we will cut this recording and in the next recording we'll start off by heading onward to Sidonia.
And who knows, maybe I'll remember to retrieve the really good weapon from Andresia and give it to Sarah. She does okay with the weapon I gave her, but yeah. The more firepower my Over companion here, has, the better. Perhaps we should check in with Mateo or Noel. Did we? Captain, I have been idling and awaiting my next order for some time now. Yeah, he gets pissy when he's not assigned. But I can't assign everybody to the ship, including him, until I get another point in, I think it's leadership. But he's just gonna have to be a little patient. Okay, I'll see you in the next one, which should be very brief, very shortly.